Yo, what's going on guys? It's Angie here. Um and I've got an awesome gameplay for you today. I actually recorded it off of my theatre in Black Ops 3. It's a game of domination. And just to warn you, I was pretty drunk when I played this game, so I've got some stupid deaths. But it's still an amazing gameplay. So let's get into today's topic. The new Call of Duty name has been announced as Infinite Warfare. Um, obviously, Infinity War, Infinite Warfare makes sense. Um, but the hype's not as real about this one. I mean, the only last game I've seen hype about really for next gen is Black Ops 3. And let me see, let's face it, Black Ops 3 is an awesome game. So, why is nobody hyped about these things? It's because there's been so much disappointment in the last, you know, pretty much since the next gen has been released. I mean, when we watched E3, um, was it when Next Gen was getting announced? It released, like the look of the PlayStation and stuff. I think it could have been um, back in 2012. They said that Call of Duty would be a three-year cycle, so everybody thought that Call of Duty would be coming out every three years by a different company, you know, like Treyarch or Infinity Ward or something like that. But it wasn't. What they should have said really was a three-year development period. So that just means there will be a Call of Duty out every year, but they have to spend three years at least making this game. And I don't think that... I mean, I wish they had kept it to a three-year cycle. I mean, Black Ops 2 lasted forever. Both, well, everybody... I like the gameplay itself. The storyline was the best in that game, to be honest. I love the storyline of that. Um, but the multiplayer side of things... I like, I like the gun handling and, you know, the hit detection. I found that really good. Same with Advanced Warfare. That was all really good. But in Ghost, the maps were just far too big to be able to do anything. So, what are we thinking Infinity Ward's going to bring out this year? Well, it's a lot of people are speculating around the... Uh, you know, the space thing, stuff like that. But E3 is coming, I think it's the middle of June. And with it being a PlayStation exclusive, obviously I'll be watching the, what's it they call it, conference or something like that, to see what's happening with it. But I mean, like, is Call of Duty dying though? Which I personally think it is. I need to probably think that, oh, but Andrew, you play Call of Duty. This is what your channel's mostly based on. Yes, it is. But there will be always, there will always, excuse me, I can't even talk today. Um, there'll always be games that are coming out that are multiplayer games. I mean, next gen, technically, for me, on my opinion, PlayStation 4, I don't know about Xbox. I've not really spent much time with that. But for me, personally, PS4 is... A social console you know that's why Destiny's here and the division stuff like that so there will be future games for like FPS and multiplayer and stuff like that uh, I think there's a new um, what's it called Battlefield coming I don't know I don't know don't quote me on that I'm not sure but I think I heard something about that um, and I just don't think that uh, people are as interested in it now more, more and more people have noticed have gone off and played different games and it's just it really is it's suffering now especially and I, mean, I think it's pretty much because of supply drops as well yeah supply drops and it's just i don't know what's the problem i mean they used to show the how many you know the wee world map and how many people were playing on line and stuff like that. Well, the last game, Call of Duty game to have that was Ghost. Why? And there was so much hype built around Black Ops 3. And there's so many people that do actually play Black Ops 3. Are we going to get a analytics, you know, at the end of the game's life cycle in November? Why didn't they add it in? There's so many unanswered questions about Call of Duty now. I mean, the movement and stuff like that is a lot better on Black Ops 3 to, as opposed to Advanced Warfare because you're not relying on the movements to do well in the game. It's just, it's a hard situation now, I think, that Call of Duty's got into a position where 
no one's interested, well, no, I'm not going to say no one, but there is a lot of people that are interested in this. You know, they're just, there's not as much hype. I mean, Black Ops 3, there was so much hype built around it, and I, I couldn't wait. I live um, 30 miles from my nearest game store, and I have two kids. I was actually prepared to jump in my car and go all the way to this game shop to buy Black Ops 3. I was so excited for it. Um, and I buy the season pass for it all the time. Black Ops 2 I loved. Because my Call of Duty pastime, should we say, I actually started off on Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, should we say. But I only played that for two weeks. And then Black Ops 1 came out. Well, Black Ops 1, I actually played right up until Next Gen came out. And even now, still I'll go back to it. Um, Black Ops 2, I played a lot of. Love that game as well. Black Ops 3, love it. It must just be a Treyarch thing then. I mean, they do know how to make multiplayer games. Because they're, you know, everybody gets so hyped around. You know, you mentioned Treyarch games and everybody's jumping on it. But Sledgehammer, I'm hoping we're not going to have another game for them. Well, I'm not going to say another game. But maybe not a Call of Duty. Because unless they change their ways, I mean, <coughs> everything else was spot on in their games. Apart from the actual gameplay itself. I mean, I never even finished the campaign of that. That's how, that's how awful I thought it. I didn't think it was awful. I'm not going to say that because that would just be telling a lie. I did play it a lot. I didn't get to, you know, fully prestiged or anything like that. Um, but there was so much, you know, the matchmaking in that game as well. There was so much, like, booster stuff like that. You know, that would die a million times just to totally kill their kill death ratio, absolutely wreck it, just so they could get like 80 kills in one game. And I actually witnessed this, I wish I was doing YouTube at the time because I actually witnessed this when um, Advanced Warfare, I think it was about three, four months old, when the matchmaking was officially announced about it. You know, nobody could understand why they weren't doing as well on it and stuff like that. Um, and I noticed that someone, I checked someone's KD on it, and it was like 0.25 and he wrecked everybody, absolutely annihilated it. It was a game of domination and he got at least, I think it was like 145 kills. He was just annihilating everybody. So he was, I was only in that lobby because it was actually another account that I had at the time and I just started on the game and that's why I got put into that lobby. Um, in the, Literally, him and his teammate absolutely wrecked everybody. And I mean, the pair of bastards didn't even leave. I thought, you know, the, the people that were getting killed on that, I was just doing a few tests and it see what the matchmaking was like. But um, I just think Call of Duty's dying. There's going to be other things that are coming out that are far more interesting, far more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, more imagination about it. I mean, technically, Call of Duty is the same thing every year, you know, point and shoot. Score streaks as well, what are they going to be like in the new Call of Duty? Nobody knows that. I mean, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 3. Score streaks went to a town. Ghosts, they were shot out of the air before you could even call them in, pretty much. Advanced Warfare, sometimes they done well. And 9 times out of 10, I would say they didn't. Um, but the good thing is I like about Treyarch's ones is that if there's a problem, it's fixed. You know, there's no delay in that. They notice it. They, they watch, you know, other YouTubers, stuff like that. They do Call of Duty channels. I'm sure they do anyway. <coughs> Just to see. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to see. See, sorry. If there is issues with the game. You know, and I look up at, see, me like, the division. They're, hand, they're might be handing out bans because there's, you know, people are exploiting the game, getting better armour than they're what they're meant to do and stuff like that and they were meant to hand out ban a three day ban for anybody that had done that before this patch came out um, and they haven't actually banned anyone yet and there's so many of them that are doing it so once Division sorted I will be playing a lot of that obviously still my Black Ops 3 um, because I do enjoy that game um, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I've got Grand Theft Auto here as well. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, should I say. That I've not actually touched much on. So I might do some, you know, songs that I'm streaming a lot and stuff. I might actually do a playthrough of that. And then, you know, just upload them to YouTube. Because I do enjoy them. And then, 
What else have I got? I've got loads. I've got Fallout 4, but that's a bit. I play that I'm on more time than now because I feel like that's a bit. It's a bit old. Not old, but like there's that many people that have played it. I've got The Witcher, one of my favourite games right now. Um, but the problem is with streaming that or doing videos in that is I can't actually wait to play the next part of that game once I stop the video. So like I could play play so much, edit the videos, get my voice sorted out, you know, edit all that stuff out and render it and put it up on YouTube. But then I just want to go and play it more. I just, I can't stop playing that game. I find it really hard because it's so addictive. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave you. Well, there's not much of the gameplay left now, but I will leave you now. And um, if you've got any issues with Call of Duty, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye, guys.